Hi there, so this is going to be a review video for the Rouge Edition lipsticks from Bourgeois that I picked up recently. So we have Beige Trench and Pretty Prune. And I like that you can see the colour in the bottom. It's quite useful. They also have numbers. This is a 14 and this is a 2. Whichever way around they go. Meh. So yes, I picked these up. Um, you would have seen them in a recent haul. I'll link that haul down below. And I thought I'd give you a wee review. So we'll start with the Pretty Prune. This looks quite dark in the bullet. And I swatch it on my hand. But it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful colour when you swatch it. I'm just going to apply it so you can see what it's like on the lips. So that's the colour on the lips. I would recommend wearing this with a lip liner to hold it in place. It does sort of feather a wee bit around the outside of your mouth and I always find it useful to have a tissue on hand after application just to run the edges at the corner. Just like that. But it is a very very creamy lipstick. It is a really strong colour. So that's just about two or three swipes of the lipstick that I've got that colour with. And if you're looking for a bold lip this is definitely it. Really beautiful colour, really easy application and very, very wearable. The wear time on this, you do have to reapply after a couple of hours. Um, and of course, after eating and drinking, you will need to reapply. The colour does transfer. It's not something that's going to last all day, but I just thought the colour is so great. And the formula seems lovely because it is lovely and soft and lovely and pigmented and very creamy. It doesn't tend to fade on me, um, you know, it fades very naturally. It doesn't fade in a patchy fashion. You end up with more lip colour here than over here, etc, etc. Um, I would say be careful when you apply this, if you're like myself. I sometimes with my tissue forget to, to once I wipe, I forget to maybe move the tissue and then I go to wipe again and I end up with lipstick on my face. Which, you know, it's just very clever. So the next lipstick I have is in Beige Trench. And this was one when I looked at it in the bullet. I was not impressed. It looked really grey, really taupe, real colour I couldn't wear. And to be honest, I can't wear it by itself as such. I'll apply it so you can see. God, so creamy. Mm. Now, I actually had a tiny amount of pink lipstick still left on this, but I could almost get away with wearing this by itself, um, especially when I'm wearing dramatic eyes like this. Uh, oh, for my eye makeup, I'll say this now before I forget, I'll link the tutorial down below. I've just done a quick get ready with me type video. Now we all know I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun. So back to the lipstick. That's it applied by itself. Now what I normally do, I'm going to take this off to show you. I will take a lip liner or a lip stain with this one. I think a lip stain is always handy. So I've just grabbed these lip stains. I do have another one. These are um, these are the Revlon Just Bitten Revlon Rimmel Just Bitten Kiss with Balm stains. I always quite like these. They always got mixed reviews, but I I like them. I have good things to say about them. So you can see how dark my natural colour of my lips is. The natural colour of my lips is. It's actually quite dark. And I'm just adding the nude lip stain. Just to remove any patchiness almost from my lips. This acts as a primer for my lips. So I do that. Let it dry a wee minute. And apply it. So even just darkening up my lips slightly, I think improves the wear on this or the colour. You know, it stops them going quite so ashy. So that, I think that's quite a nice sort of soft nudie colour, but not your normal, like not this kind of nude, but a nice sort of taupey nude that I can wear when I'm going for something really neutral, really, really, I want something to bring my lips down, shall we say. So that's it then, just over this um, Perpetual Plum lip stain that I have. Basically, it's a multifunctional uh, lipstick, if I just swatch it. 
I like to wear this lipstick over lots of other colours. So you can see there it is just a taupey grey. And as I say, this is a multifunctional lipstick that uh, I will wear more over other lipsticks than by itself. But I think it's great just to meet down a colour and basically to come up with their own colour a wee bit. So really impressed with these lipsticks. They wear quite well. They're lovely and creamy. They smell... There's, they actually smell quite nice, the smell of bourgeois if that makes sense because some of their products have this lovely fragrance that isn't too chemically. And this is it, it's quite sweet. Um, and I like the packaging because it's easy to stack my lipstick so I can see the colour and they're quite reasonably priced, I'll put price information down below. As I said in the haul video, I it was buy one get one half off so that's why I bought these two, I wanted to try them out and there were colours I didn't have so yeah. Really, really impressed with them, really pleased with them. I think they're worth checking out. And yeah, that's everything. So thank you very much for watching. Please like if you like, please subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in my next video.